Karim Irazavi. Would you be if I talk like that the entire time? You'd be really mad, right? Wouldn't you? I see these women already like staring at me like the evil death hate look, right? Yeah. Is it because I'm pretty, or is it because? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's with that? Look, look. Once, once you really get to know what's underneath all this, you're gonna be all right. Trust me. I, got issues. I was a late bloomer in life, right? So you have to understand this. As Hispanic women were very hairy. I mean, worse than Aldo. You saw how hairy Aldo was? That was my mother, okay? Oh, yeah. Fucking Yeti. Hair coming out underneath your jeans. It wasn't shaving, it was a whole different grooming story. But I was late, bloomer, so I didn't know about the whole shaving of the vag area until I was about like 19 years old. And like this white guy was like, you should shave that, it would look a lot better. <laughs> all right, so why don't you do it for me then? I was like, all right. So I'm thinking it was going to be something romantic, you know, bathtub, pink razor foam, and, you know, roses and flowers and all kinds of shit. He walks in with 20 Mexicans from Home Depot. <laughs> Three days later, we're like, fuck this, man, we're going back to Mexico. <laughs> Landscaping sucks. <laughs> Do you know how that hard that is to take that from Mexicans? <laughs> Which leads me to white guys. I have a thing for white guys. I really do. It's because, yeah, well, I don't know if you're going to be excited about this, but you guys have no game. <laughs> Which is what I'm really attracted to. Okay? I'm dead serious. Look, don't come at me with like, yo, mom, what's up? I hate that. If you sit there and look like you're afraid of me, I'm all over it. Okay? I like them so white. I pick up my men, I pick up my white men from KKK meetings, okay? That's right, I'm into bondage, you know? It's not rape if I push back. Alright? You know, the more they hate me, the more I want them. And actually, let me give you a piece of advice. Alright guys, if you ever want to sleep with a black girl, a Hispanic girl, an Asian girl, this is all they need to know. And, and, and agree with me when I, say, when I say this, this is the only thing you have to say. I've never been with an in fill in the blank. <laughs> it works every time. We're taking our panties off faster than you can than you can say spick, okay? I swear to God, we're like a cat in heat, like, yeah, that's right, have some minority pussy. Right. <laughs> How about you, white boy? You ever been with a Puerto Rican? Right. Fuck you then. No good to me. That's right. Speaking of pretty pussies, I was watching this show on uh, HBO called Real, Spe uh, Real Sex. Anybody heard of Real Sex on HBO? Yeah. Some of the ugliest fucking people ever talking about sex. I I'm expecting to see hot people, something that can kind of help me masturbate when I'm alone. And it's the fattest and ugliest people I've ever seen on television. They had this one episode where they're talking about how vaginas are beautiful and they're like a flower and like butterflies. And have any of these people looked at a pussy after it's been fucked? It looks like two slugs fighting over a pink Skittle and a salt stick. You know, to sit at a resort in shorts because, you know, I had no hair on my legs, so I wasn't afraid of scaring the small children away. <laughs> so I'm sitting like this, relaxing, minding my own business, and it was my introduction to a half ass compliment. Half ass compliment is when uh, they start the, the, the whole thing with, uh, can I tell you something without being offended? <laughs> Whenever someone says to you, can I tell you something without being offended, the first thing in your mind is to be prepared to be offended. <laughs> like when someone says to me, you too fine to be doing stand-up comedy. Really? Because I didn't know we all had to look like Roseanne Barr and Rosie O'Donnell to do fucking comedy. So apparently we're not going to have a good relationship because I'm not funny for you. 
It's a whole other list of emotional issues. But anyway, this guy comes up to me, he goes like, yo, mom, can I tell you something without being offended? All right, sure. Yo, you got a bad pussy. <laughs> Not only do I have to lose weight, my arms, my thighs, my...